Yeah. Okay, this is part two of step by step on how to use Avea 1X. I'm just going to recap on section three as you see that we got cut off on the other video. So I'm going to be talking about bleeps. So there's two sections on bleeps. I'm going to teach you how to use it while you're on a call, and then the second part will be if you need to bleep yourself to another extension. The first thing you have to do is actually yeah, you have to dial the phone. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh, three eight eight zero three. Sorry about that. That's fine. Three three. No, three eight eight zero three. Okay. The first thing you do as soon as you receive a call and they want you to put you through, put them through to a bleep. All you have to do is press park. Press park button. Okay. And any of the extensions here. Any of the extensions. Just make sure the extension that you are going to put them through is not active. For you to see that they're active, you'll see a green mark as you see here. And that means another person is using that extension. Just make sure you pick any of the other ones that is not marked green. So it's like you're bleeping another staff who's using switchboard. Yes. Okay. As soon as you press uh, the extension here, you'll hear on your phone or the headset that you're using two bleeps. That means the phone, uh, their call has been put into those extensions. So the first thing you do before you press enter to hang up the call, just make sure you put yourself on position busy, admin or training. This will divert any other calls coming into your line. Now as soon as you've hanged up and put them into an extension, the first thing you do is press 30400. This will bring you to the multi-tone paging system. And as and before you before you can click any options within a call, make sure you press F4 or tones, which will be on the bottom here, and DTMF. Yes, you have to click both of them at the same time. This will allow you to click or pick any options within a call. DTMF, I'm not too sure on what that stands for. But the function it does is it makes you be able to use options within a call. So let's dial that again. So now I have. Do you want me to dial it again? Oh no, that's fine. So now I'm in the options. The first thing you have to do is press option one. And then the user number, which will be the bleep number that you're trying to bleep to. At the moment, I'm just trying our bleep holder seven two eight eight seven two two eight. Sorry. It's, it's, the rest is like the normal when you bleep somebody. Yeah, the um, the rest is the same as the old system of bleeping. So as soon as you press the user number, then you just pick any of the extensions here. As the, the key to bleep outside. Is, I mean, like other you, other staff member is to press the DTMF button and F4 button. Yes, tones. And then um, you dial three zero four hundred, which is the normal. You know, no, the identical. first thing you have to do is dial three zero four hundred, and then tones DTMF. If you do it the other way, then that means you ain't gonna dial anything okay. on this system here. Now I shall be talking about the second part of the bleeps. If a person needs you to call, well actually, the second part of the bleeps is bleeping someone without anyone calling you on your line and putting them on park and any other extensions. Everything is exactly the same. All you have to do is press three zero four hundred. F4 DTMF and then everything is exactly the same option 1 the user number and an extension that you need them to put the, um, that you need a bleep holder to call as soon as you've done that you just hang up the call and, it, and bleeping should be successfully done if you are on a call and your bleep has gone wrong 
So let's say you had someone on extent and any of the extensions, and the bleep has come back absent. While you're on the call of zero three four hundred, and it has come back saying it's absent, just press down, enter, which will bring back the call to the dial tone. Down arrow, which will be hit down, and then enter, which will retrieve the call back. You'll hear a dead tone, and to retrieve any of the extensions here to tell the person that's holding that the bleep holder is absent, just dial the number that they're on, which let's say I have. Two zero two nine nine on hold. Everybody at lunch. Sorry, Anil. As soon as I kind of got you are trying to. Sorry. So, so on the second part, if you want to bring back a call after trying to bleep a bleep holder and it's come back unanswered or absent, all you have to do is whilst on the multi-toner paging system. Press down and enter, which will bring you to a dial tone. And to bring back the call that you've put in any of these extensions, just enter the extension, which is shown. As you see here, it's 20290. And now I'm back through to the person that I was trying to get through to that bleep hold in the beginning. Whilst you're in that part and you could just tell them that the bleep holder is absent or whatever the message said on the multi-tone pager system. Yeah. Is there anything more about bleeps? Uh, other than that, no, the bleeps is, yeah. The next point that I'll be talking about would be answering and transferring calls. Mm -hmm. On this new Avaya system, as soon as a call comes in, it will make the Avaya, the Avaya 1X as priority. So if you're on another page or window and another call comes through, it will make the Avaya window active. So it will stop everything that you're doing on the other windows and make this active. So as soon as you press enter, which means pick up, it will pick up the call. Yes, uh, we shall show you on how it becomes priority. So I will have. Um, so now I'll show you how to answer calls and transfer. I'm just going to get my colleague to call this line. Eight to eight. And then again. As soon as so as soon as your call comes in, you could either click answer or just press enter. Mm -hmm. And now the call has come here. Now, as soon as you have a call on, as soon as you retrieve the call and you press and you answered, say it again. As soon as you answer the call and you try to put them through to the extension that's needed, and it comes back busy or dead tone as you see here and then if it comes back busy or dead just press down and enter this will bring back the call from the beginning and we'll be able to tell the person that's waiting that is busy or diverted mm -hmm. and then you could try another extension as soon as and after that all you just have to press enter which will hang up the call or hover over this extension here and it will end the call. If you, I'm just going to.